So is your Sims 4 More Columns mod not working in 2021? So you can't really select the swatches for your clothes or you can see the clothes properly. I happen to know an easy fix for that, so keep on watching. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. Today we are going to talk about the Sims 4 more columns not working in 2021 and how you can actually fix the Sims 4 more columns mod in 2021. And so I truly hope you find this video helpful. But before we get into this video, just a quick reminder, if you like this type of content and if you find it useful, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit a notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot thank you so much and i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart so when it comes to this sims 4 more columns mod not working we are essentially talking about not being able to select the swatches for your clothes or not being able to see the clothes properly and so in this case please make sure to close your game delete your more columns mod and replace it with the updated version so as you can see right here this is the latest version for the more columns mod so make sure to download this one over here i'm gonna make sure to include it in my description down below and then we are going to place it into our mods folder by the way please make sure not to have any other outdated or broken mods in your mods folder because that may be also the reason why your more columns mod is not working properly and so please make sure to remove any mods that you're currently using and download them once again place them into your mods folder and then you should be good to go in case you didn't know i always suggest the sims for over here because every single time a new sims 4 update comes out you can find this thread over here so this is the latest one and you can actually see what mods or cc have been reported as broken as outdated as updated and so it's super super useful you can check it out i'm gonna make sure to include this website in my description down below as well but once you've got rid of those outdated or broken mods and once you've updated your more columns mod we are going to actually repair our game and so we are going to open up our origin program we are going to go to game library right click on the sims and then select repair once this repairing process is completed we can actually open our sims 4 game and we can create a sim and see if those columns show up properly now and if they do then congrats because you've just fixed your problem but if your mod is still not showing up properly please make sure to go to options game options and then go to accessibility and you can actually adjust your UI scale so that your columns show up properly in the game and so you just have to play around with this UI scale apply changes and make sure that your columns show up properly so you just have to play around with this UI scale until your sims 4 columns show up properly essentially by the way you can also go to graphics and then and then change the display type over here so as you can see right here I currently have it windowed full screen but you can change it to windowed or to windowed full screen however you would like to and so please make sure to adjust your display type apply changes and see if it makes any difference if you can't seem to notice any difference you can actually change your resolution as well and see if your columns show up properly now now if you have followed all these steps and your sims for more columns mod is still not working in 2021 please make sure to move your entire mods folder that you can find in documents electronic cards the sims 4 to your desktop so we're gonna move this mods folder to our desktop we're gonna open up our origin program once again we're gonna go to game library right click on the sims 4 repair and we're gonna wait until this whole process is completed now we are going to actually open our game and then completely close it and then a new mods folder should show up in your sims 4 folder over here and if it doesn't please make sure to completely sign out of origin log in once again open your game and then close it once again and your new mods folder should definitely appear in your sims 4 folder essentially and so we are gonna only place the more columns mod the updated version actually and we're gonna get it off the very same website and so i'm gonna make sure to link it in the description down below so we are going to place our updated more columns mod in our new mods folder so we're gonna only place this mod and then we are gonna open our game and see if that mod 
shows up properly in CAS. And if it does, please be very cautious when placing CCM mods. Make sure that all of them are up to date because that is super, super important. Do not copy and paste any outdated or broken mods as those can lead to many issues. And so I highly suggest checking out the Sims 4 website over here because you can actually see what mods or CC have been reported as broken, as outdated or as updated. So make sure to download the latest versions for your mods and for your CC. And if it still does not work, you can follow the very same steps that I've shown you, meaning that you can go to your game options, accessibility and play around with that UI scale until your more columns mod shows up properly. You can also change the resolution of your game or you can even change the display type and see if it makes a difference. Hopefully you find this little video helpful and if you did, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much. So I will see you next Friday or Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time slash 7 p.m. UK time. As always, have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys. Thank you.